Oh, greetings. All right, this is the chat portion of the webinar. Uh, usually I do this a little bit earlier, but see now everything is canceling at work. I give myself a little bit of a break. So, all right, to bring in the angels, aliens, and positive vibrations to bring in. So, all right, uh, Carol, are any messages for me? I uh, see your energy with Yeshua and walking new energies with the earth. Those are getting this virus are learning more about themselves, of course, new talents, uh, but this will take a few years to manifest. Uh, so this is a this is really this is a year for healers. There's so much uh, going on. So look at yourself as a healer. Are there any messages for me from Prime Creator? Uh, you're walking new energies within yourself. Uh, there's a crystal chamber, a blue energy that you connect to in higher astral, uh, like a fountain of youth energy. So you've been the fountain of youth as a crystal, as water in previous incarnations. So um, also been many flower entities. Uh, Anna, Anna, uh, was it a good decision to call police on my mom? Uh, she has she learned anything through this experience kind of uh, not right now she will down she will, will learn down you know learn eventually but she's going through a lot of inner demons herself so yeah, this was a good idea yes but if she learned anything first off she has to get over being angry <laughs> so from what I can see, and she has a lot of trouble seeing her herself, so she doesn't think she does anything wrong. But was the right decision, though. Any messages for me? Uh, I see a blue eagle in astral. Uh, you're also doing manifestations that will take a couple of years to manifest in your reality, but that doesn't mean this year. I mean, it's going to come through this year too. So, projects, things you wish to do are i guess kind of on hold in some regard not fully but uh new energies are coming in you do connect to the archangel gabriel energy uh, for assistance when you need his assistance sometimes you push him away it's because you feel like you can do it yourself some things you just can't always do everything here so yeah to give um those that are watching this the idea is for us to you know, gain our power so we don't have to call in the archangels. We can just do things ourselves. Of course, you need help here and there. But that's kind of the idea of what we're doing here. Uh, Stephen, uh, oh, you got the last names for now. Stephen, do I have cancer? No. You might just feel that way. I don't see anything there. Any messages? Um, I see a golden goose. It's an astral. Uh, yeah, you're manifesting. Uh, let's see. Civil liberties. Liberties, free will energies. Energies for others, energies for yourself, and free will. The part of the free will timeline. Look at that. It's been very difficult for people. People think they have free will here, and you know how that works. So, yeah. So, yeah, you're also part of a manifesting crystal energy. Um, that you open up because you don't want to open up too much because people won't learn. But that's where your, that's a lot where your source energy comes from. Um, kind of like the genie energy, similar to that, not exactly. Uh, Gundium, any messages from higher self? I just see stairway stairs going into higher astral, higher realms. Bringing in, interesting, other gods to connect to this earth. That's interesting. Uh, calling in backup. Because <laughs> this, this Prime Creator kind of looks the other way sometimes. Any messages from Prime Creator? Uh, yeah, well, Prime Creator is a mischievous energy at times. It does look the other way. So uh, I believe you can get into his energy, like talk to him and 
Because you can be headstrong a lot of people. You can just say no, no, and no to everybody. But um, the dude seems like he's calming down some of that. So sometimes you can just say, come on, help these people. <laughs> so something like that. I know that sounds weird, but you know, people ask for God for help and nothing happens to uh, uh, Pamela, any messages for me from Mother Mary? Uh, let's see. Um, by the show at the golden envelope, Yeshua's energies. This is a time of forgiveness, forgiveness of humanity and its ways and why the world had to go to this direction. Uh, it needs this type of environment to learn, of course. It needs something to scare them like a boogeyman. And you're assisting in its uh, So you're very connected to nature at this time, during this time of even the fear of nature, because this is like an invisible situation. So, any messages from Prime Creator? Uh, you're downloading a lot of energies of new spirit guide energies. I see. You have new spirit guide vibrations around you. One is called Monica. Um, it's also a silver lake, like you walk on a lake. Uh, that is new travels, new new things are coming this year. Yeah, this year, this, you can't write this year off. This year, a lot of heaviness, but also a lot of beautiful energies are coming. Right now, actually. Like the, the beauty in humanity is coming through. Marianne, any messages for me? Uh, let's see. Uh, healing a lot of black magic at this time. Uh, around children mostly, uh, healing a lot of that, and I just see with Yeshua's energy, like you take on Yeshua's role of uh, healing those around you, uh, and those around the world. Like you just um, not exactly taking over the role, but being similar in that energy, you can say, yeah, you might appear as. A Mother Mary or something around those lines. Of course, second question about Mother Mary. Any messages from Mother Mary? Yeah, so you're you're still warning from that time period of the Jesus time period, or yeah, the you know, just you're still like a time. You're still going into that vibration of that. I don't know if you incarnated back then or not, but you do. I do see you going back there a lot. Seeing how they did it, what kind of lives they lived, what was all that about? I just see you going about it maybe daily. That's interesting. Uh, so what that means? Just um, I don't know. Just what what it soak in of that time period, Maddie? Uh, there's this demon white being that's always haunts my dad in his sleep and time. Time I want to know. Who is that being? You can't send strong angel energy to block that being for my dad, my family forever. That's the thing. Your dad has a contract with that being. Yes, yeah, so you can do healings for your dad and tell it, tell it to go away, but it seems like those two are brothers and best friends. So, uh, yeah, it's like having a drinking buddy that's a pain in the butt. That's the demon. So you can ask him to behave. I don't think it's going to go away because your dad keeps pulling him back. It's not... Yeah, because it's, you know, just ask for assistance from angels and Yeshua and everybody. But it's between those two. He's not ready to let him go. So just at least ask him, ask it to at least be a little bit nicer. I think it will. It's funny. I think it'll behave. I'm serious. serious. Because <laughs> uh, it doesn't want to get cast away yet. So my dad once said that there was bad luck thrown on him, our family, when he was in Africa? Is that correct? No. If it is, no. It's just, you know, you know, some people say they don't like smoking, yet they smoke all the time. He's one. Of, he's that person. It, it's like what they it said, his buddies. It's no. Nobody put any curse on him. If any curse on him, he put it on himself. Yeah, he brought this up. It's not on the family. It's on him. He just says the family needs to deal with it. No, it doesn't. So you can ask, ask angels, like, send it to him. Send it. Of course, you want to send it away, but 
send it back to where it came from. You know, but I feel like your dad's like, hey, I'll take that. <laughs> so dad has a lot of darkness is not willing to let go of. So he's just trying to push that will onto the family. Bad luck. Yeah, just he's something else. Yeah, he's a tough cookie, but yeah, that shows that somebody's not ready to heal their darkness. He's having a blast with it. So bad. But I was prepared for this. I guess not. What? There's a lot of double stuff here. Why it looks so long? Okay. All right, Kevin. Any messages from Spirit or my guides? Uh, yeah, you're healing a lot of temptations. Uh, just temptations on different levels. Just. Um, yeah, whatever it might be. Also, upgrading your spirit guide energy around you uh, for better guides. So, you are teaching your guides to be better guides. Not firing them, because uh, you're giving them a lot of chances, and it's really good, actually. Sometimes fire, yeah, you're not into the firing. It's because you feel like you can work with them. Well, can well continued. I don't know what that is. Or, oh, is that okay? Uh huh. Or mindfulness meditation. High dimensional ideas help me release the darkness that will not let go. If not, can I soon angelic assistance this summer? My chakras, I have difficulty doing all. Okay, so <clears throat> interesting. Uh, give you some, I'll give you an example of, okay, so. Not, no, this doesn't pertain to you, but uh, somebody I know has a lot of demonic energies around this person. I can't say gender or anything. Um, and this person has a difficulty letting go, like for drinking, drugs, yada, yada, yada. Uh, not that you do those things, but so the darkness, I believe, I have to, I have to bring that up so I can connect to what you're going through. I know it sounds weird, but so. The darkness is not always your darkness. It's the darkness of other beings that you've been through with war. And they've kind of latched on to you slightly. Not sucking on your energy or anything. It's just that they're around you in astral. So you ask the human the light around you of those, you know, those have been with the battlefield. Some of you might have killed in previous lives. That's what you're dealing with right now. So, so how you deal with it is doing good things for yourself. You know, just you know, eat chocolate, do whatever it is. Uh, my small things are good. Yeah, realize that's a lot of layers of. I believe it's not. That, remember, don't feel like you're a victim or you've been done terrible things or anything like that. It's just you're feeling like the horrors of world war around you. And it's not always the easiest to heal. So you're healing them, actually. So I don't, I don't think a lot of that's yours. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> Susie, uh, what have you been doing astral? Uh, healing a lot of feline energies. One of the feline worlds. Some of our problems came from feline realities. Uh, being headstrong and thinking they know everything. Not all of them like that. They like comfort. All of our kings are connected to that energy. And I believe you told him enough is enough. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just not that people can't have luxury here, but people are just disconnected from themselves. So we have to go through timelines that here are just hard to test. Are there, are there any messages from me? Yeah, this is... Uh, I see new opportunities coming, but the timeline isn't clear. Uh, but you definitely want to see it. No, I don't have a time frame, but it's it's coming. Yeah, so use this situation to your advantage. Anything you can think of to use this situation to, may, I don't know, say volunteer, but maybe volunteer or do something to put yourself, yeah, something, you'll, you'll figure out something. Uh, yeah, just use this, maybe find work. 
be surprised. You never know. Uh, Donna, uh, how am I connected to Ivan? Uh, interesting. I saw blue avians. Um, there's a lot of secret energy here. Um, I just tell people I just saw you as a Nordic being, but man, it is not making itself clear. I see Venus, I see the moon, like when the moon was put here in the beginning. Uh, there was a lot of, there was a lot of going on just putting a moon here. So there's a lot of scuffles around that. So I don't know, played a pretty good presence in this in the universe, but they're not really saying they're not saying. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. So that's a little bit harder to, you know. All right, next question. How am I connected to Salone Bella? Hmm. One moment. She is like a soulmate energy from previous incarnations. Uh, you know, family energy. Uh, it's been an energy that's assisted others of... Um, let me look her up real quick. I'm just kind of curious. Okay. That's definitely a cat being... <laughs> So yeah, it's just a uh, yeah. It just felt like she was on a Palladian world, giving a lot of uh, advice to many. So yeah, she was just um, a guru, you can say, on another planet. There's more connections to that, but that's that's a short version of it. Um, yeah, I've been asked by spirit guides if they would let me meet them in my dreams and in my and to be able to remember it when I wake up. But so far, it has not happened. They haven't reason why. Yeah, because, you know, I know this is kind of a cop out, but, well, tell them, they, well, first of all, there's a couple of ways. Tell them they better give you something. <laughs> it's like, it's not, now it's time to, you know, be a little bit rough on them. I would. Like, you better tell me, that, you know, yeah, because they're getting so. Guys get lazy, so you just gotta say, "Give me something, please." Or um, let's see what else is there. Um, and the other thing is the paradise realities. Of course, that's not where you're looking at. You're just looking at just to see them. So yes, yeah, just keep. I would say be a little bit stronger on them. Like, you guys, what I was told is, like, if they don't do it, you know, if they don't help you, just tell me to go fire them. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if you want to do that. But, you know, that'll get their attention. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to go that method, but it's like, you better do something or... <laughs> yeah. So, question two, does the spirit or the spirit or my guides have any messages? Uh, you're balancing a lot of different energies of feline, Nordic... Arturian. I see a bear. Uh, a, a nice bear. Of like a bear hug. Of of uh, just uniting different different realities into one. Though you come from realities very different than this one. That's why you're here. One of the reasons. You come from like a lucid reality where you're not of you don't have a physical body. Like a fairy energy about a physical body, fairy reality where it's very, very tall too, I believe. But uh, just all the beauty you can think of. So you're bringing other timelines here. It's not always going to be seen, but yeah, you bring other vibrations that you come from a reality where people do drugs to connect with. Let's <laughs> put it that way. I did do LSD or whatever it is to connect to that reality, but you're. Yeah, so that doesn't mean go do drugs or anything, but, you know, that's what, yeah. So, you're just bringing new energies here. There's more to it than that, but that's the short version of it. 
Eric M. Do I have any messages? I had connections. Or Raphael the painter. Well, first thing that comes through is a father energy. So I don't know if you're his father or a positive influence, like a mentor. But it feels like you were a protector of his. An older, you're very old. You were older, but you reckon I believe you recognize his talents and brought connections to him. So you're kind of like a father figure. I don't think you're a painter during that time, from what I can feel, but of course, there's so many different timelines. <laughs> I mean, there's timelines where you were Raphael, so you know. Do uh, any guides have any messages? Yeah, there's elephant energies that you're connected to of wisdom. So you're connected to wisdom realities from Andromedans, Syrians, etc. So this is a time of thinking straight, you know, thinking wisely. But of course, having fun, but having, you know, you know it's very important right now. Yeah, to keep a level head of some kind. Let me go. Last week I saw a repeat number three 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 four 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 five five five. Did any messages from the five 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 or sequences? So it shows that timelines are integrating uh, more intense than they were before, and you're part of that. The healing process that's coming in, the future is coming in. So this is uh, yes, DNA. There's so much going on here. The energies are so heavy. I'm out. My energy is wiped out. Just, I don't feel it. Just, it's it's heavy. So, yeah, just uh, it's uh, the magic key that you're connected to. Letting things happen for the greater good. Uh, yeah, massive technologies are being brought in, and even uh, yeah. People are talking about a new internet. Yeah. It's on the horizon, eventually. Any messages from my guardian angel? No. Uh, we bring build vortexes. Learn yourself and others. As vortexes also go into other realities. So meaning that some of these people are getting this disease, or people that don't. That some people are getting like many life reviews in their astral. And seeing if this is what to do. So, some are ready to leave this world. Many are re rebuild themselves. Or some are just in a complete panic. They can't make a decision. So, so there's probably more to it than that. Believe that. Yeah, All right, Beth. Uh, I'm very clear about the positive timeline. I like humanity to be on, receiving good alien tech, but being a slave in this flat sis, fiat system, quantum healing for all. Well, I, everyone who chooses to experience a new awesome reality soon. Okay, um, slowly. Yeah, yeah it's patience. It's... Well, yeah, I was listening to one that said, oh, so, like, the mass arrests are going to happen, and alien information is going to come. I mean, all that's going to happen all at once? Wow, that's very exciting. I don't know if any of that's going to happen, but patience is key. Uh, yeah, so keep connecting those timelines. And people reject them. You'd be surprised. Uh, because they like they like the way they live, so... That's okay, though. But yeah, keep pulling it in. Pull it in for yourself, for sure. Uh, bring all the blessings you can to yourself. And others, of course. But it's, it'd be a surprise how many people would, don't want a luck of light. They want to drink beer and hang out with their buddies and just do as they do. Nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, just keep, keep connecting. Woke up the other morning. You smelled a strong cologne scent in my bedroom. Any ideas? And I believe a Pleiadian energy was there. 
Very nice. So yeah, you're bringing in new energies. Very nice. And that is necessary. Yeah. I believe, yeah, you're connected to rainbow energies and definitely uh, flower energies. Um, rainbow, definitely. It's connected to the other real, um, Agartha and things like that, so. Oh my God, it's Moses. Uh, does my higher self have any messages for me? Uh, change is on the way, of course. So yeah, proper new investments going to be coming before the end of the new year. So this summer, things are going to really get better, wrap up. New opportunities are going to be opening up. Just keep an eye on if you want to do investments or whatever it might be there. Does, it, does the name Ezra mean anything special for my newborn son? Maybe, like we, maybe we like to give his name to our son, but we are not sure. Or is there a better suggestion? Ezra sounds fine. It's a past life connection. So it's a name that you had in a previous incarnation. So it's bringing old, not that that's old energies, but you're bringing a lot of your vibration there, which is okay. Um, you know, the right name will will come to the will to come to the kid. Uh, well, okay. So, what name feels right for the kid? If Ezra doesn't feel right, what? That's why people give their kids middle names. Like here's your first name, here's your middle name, here's your last name. So. Yeah, so yeah, give it some time. If you don't feel like that's the right name, sleep on it. Ask, ask your, I think you've already done it, but ask your spirit self, your kid, your baby, you know, give us what name is best for you. And when you wake up, what comes to mind? See how you feel about it. So it's understood. Yeah, I mean, there's no rush for the name, I don't believe. Uh, but yeah, this, even the kid is kind of like, I feel like he's rejecting names. <laughs> give me a cool name. <laughs> so, give me a neat name. <laughs> that's what I get from him. I get a name, Sebastian, but that's, I don't know. That's up to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just stick with what you're doing. Yeah, don't take that. Yeah. I just flew in. All right. So, yeah, do as you want. Uh, Miles, any bless uh, blessings? Do I have any messages from Gaia? Mm. Of course, there's new energies of uh, coming in for um, moment, moment. I see like uh, yeah, square, a square reality, a square world, um, worlds of different shapes that you're connected to, flat Earth. Not sure we connect to the fire earth, but and just other world realities by start coming to you. Um, just in a thought, nothing too significant. Ocean realities, ocean worlds. Of uh, yeah, just ocean ocean worlds that are yeah, some of the stuff you kind of blocked out. For various reasons because ocean worlds aren't always the easiest that seems like ones they're very connected to so yeah meditate with the ocean energies what do you feel positive or not so positive what do you see there any messages from my higher self yeah you're pulling in golden energy manifesting as you need i see a blonde energy tall blonde nordic being that's assisting you at this time as you're one as telepathically connected to insectoid beings. You just can talk to them pretty easily when you wish to. Uh, you've been a, a uh, peacemaker to them. You've also given them a lot of advice on different realities. So. Um, Amy, this might seem like a weird question. Will I ever have a near-death experience, it always sounds so amazing. It seems to open up people's psychic abilities, uh, which would love to happen. Be careful what you wish for. I don't think that's going to happen, but... But, yeah, I don't, sometimes I wasn't making a noise, but I don't... Uh, 
I don't know if you really want to go through something like that. <laughs> That's up to you. Uh, between you and your guides, you can you know pray on it and see what you get. There are other ways of opening up your abilities. Let's put it that way. Last night when I was watching, yeah, abilities, yeah, is using your abilities. That's how you just using them. Question two, last night I was watching TV. I felt spirits start to come around me because I did not know who they were. I told them to leave. I want to get used to having them around me so I can find out who they are and what they are here for. And tell me what was around me. What can I do? What can I do when this happens? Ask them questions. What do you feel around them? Yeah, that just shows you weren't ready for it. That's all. Yeah, I mean, those uh, fairy beings are around you. And it kind of scared you a little bit, which is normal. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, because you never know if it's dark. You never know what you're dealing with sometimes. Understood. Uh, just what advice or insight does Archangel Michael have for me during this virus situation as the immune system is compromised and work on the front lines in the healthcare office? Uh, I believe you will be fine with all this. Just, you know, yeah, take extra precautions, of course. But I don't believe you're going to, even if you do get this thing, I think you'll, you can fight it, but I don't think you will. Uh, question two, while I was in a doctor's visit today, I felt the blue palladian energy around me, although the doctor didn't know how, how to help my mysterious illness, ended up not, not charging me. I feel like the blue palladian might have something to offer. Well, yeah, I was in, yeah, so you're feeling the energies of other people. So you're feeling illnesses of other people that they're going through through astral. So, yeah, and you already feel sick already, and that doesn't help much. So this shows how connected you are with astral. You're hum connected to human consciousness. So you're connected to the world vibrations to a degree, kind of to know how the world works. You know, it's an it's it's not an easy, as you know, not an easy timeline, but it's you know, it's part of your spiritual development on many levels. Just you know. There's other ways of developing one's abilities. This is one of them. It's kind of like sacrificing yourself for others. It's like, you know, you put yourself out there. You don't really have a life of your own, but, yeah. So, not that you don't have a life of your own, but it does feel like there's more going on. Henry, uh, you might go back to family. Please tell me all four race people who are responsible for race my telekinesis ability and spiritual consciousness. Interesting, I feel like the moon people, that's a different one. Um, not of our moon, but of a different moon, a reptilian moon, um, that are, yeah, you can say cabal connected. Uh, it's like they had to remove that stuff for you to enter into this earth incarnation. So I can say that some of it was yanked away. In some ways, yeah, you kind of got pushed into this reality. So, yeah. so there's an astral war going on that you're not trying, you're not fighting, but you know, trying to make peace. Yeah, you're connected to a lot of races that are very out of control, as you probably can feel that. So, yeah, well, you this I mean, it's soul development. Uh, yeah, be careful what you wish for. But yeah, you deal with a lot of beings that are just hard to deal with. Well, let's put it this way. I see a rat slash reptilian being. Like a rat reptilian. Ouch. <laughs> so, yeah, you do a lot of weird stuff. So, yeah, that's what kind of what you're dealing with. I don't see that very often. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, reptilians are scary. Um, <laughs> think again. <laughs> we'll come up with something more bizarre. <laughs> Uh, do I mean so? I was a hybrid being you do with a lot of strange hybrid creations that somebody like a Dr. Moreau, you know, like creating all those weird things, yeah. So, yeah, like a galactic Dr. Moreau that you're dealing with, yeah, that's probably so. That's probably where, yeah, the galactic Dr. Moreau, we'll just call him that. Ugh. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, do I have any messages from Reptilian Empire from back when I was a part of Reptilian Royalty? Yeah. You never want to go back there again. Well, it healed. It made you respect people more. You helped you respect yourself more. You didn't really respect yourself, so it was easy to conquer other worlds. Then you found out all the damage was being done. I was like, all right, this isn't right. Because they, they kept telling you this is for the greater good. It's greater good. Okay. But, you know, like anybody in, in war situations, like, wait a minute, this isn't right. So you rebelled eventually. You rebelled from your royal family. You rebelled from all of that. Uh, when you found out that this is all hurting people. Now, you got positive karma because of that, actually. And you are healing from all the... Yeah, you know, it's like when you shoot somebody in an accident and you have to live with it. That's kind of like you're living with a lot of the pain. But, you know, you know you've know, said all your sorries and everything, so you're just uh, healing from it all. I don't feel like you're in prison or anything. I might feel that way, but I think you, I believe you cleared a lot of that. It's just, you know, life isn't easy, that's all. Oh, well, that's weird. Everything's here twice. I hope I answered all the right questions. No, I didn't. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, one second. Okay. Oh, Vasco. Sunday at 2 a.m. I felt like a wind around me and felt energy being being to my head. What was this? And is there a message associated with this? Well, I thought a, a Yael energy assisting you. I also feel insectoids that you're healing here on this planet. Uh, insectoids, people that are just... Uh, some people here have a lot of insectoid energy that do the same thing every single day. Uh, a lot of them are here right now. So you're healing. A lot of timelines are being healed. And you're from a... A Venus energy to remove a lot of those old programmings slowly. So I guess we got to download. That's cool. Huh? Probably more to it. I did see an elephant being. Saw a Sagittarius. That's where, that's where you got a lot of your power from. <laughs> you think worlds like this are hard. Sagittarius, it gave me an image of a lot of giant... Uh, called, um, crab beings. <laughs> <laughs> Big ones. <laughs> uh, question to any messages uh, from anyone? Yeah, you know, like in the higher dimensions, life is a cartoon. And this world is very real. This world kind of took all the fun out of being alive, you can say. Uh, but also, it's building, a, a, it's sculpting a new energy here. That isn't, you know, understood in other realities. So a lot of be alien beings don't understand how what the, what your purpose of this planet is. But yeah, it's there to bring in new details within the soul that has not been seen ever before. A lot of the universe forgot. It's bringing in new ideas that other worlds cannot do. So it's doing a lot of stuff other planets can never do. On so many levels. So that's one of the reasons why he came here. Yeah, suffering comes with it, but suffering comes in light. It's just hard. It's hard to deal with it, of course. So I know it's kind of general, but I would just leave it with that. Uh, Caitlin, does my mom have any messages for me? I she passed. Oh, she's doing fine. She's younger. I see her painting. Uh, so she's bringing out more creativity within herself. For you, just do whatever, yeah, do as you must. She's not going to get in the way. She's kind of headstrong when you're when she was alive, but right now, just she want, you want to be more free, then do as you want to be free. How long will I be where? How long will I be where I am now? I was told I would be moved temporarily to to study some healing. Um, can't pronounce that word. Any idea which ones? Mold, mold lights. Any? I don't know. Any ideas of which ones those would be? Oh, 
Uh, well, yeah. Well, there's no rush. First off. Yeah, just I don't see what can I one second. Modalities. I'm just saying what can I do. Yeah, it seems like a confusing energy that that person put out to begin with. <laughs> I you want to put these messages out there. I don't know what, I don't think they know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, psychic energy is whatever you want to, whatever you want to dive into. What is it of interest? Uh, is it tarot cards or, I mean, if that's what I'm connecting to, right? Yeah, now, now is the time to, yeah, now is the time to, to go into those things. Yeah, so... Yeah, well, for, for healing, I mean, uh, that would be Reiki would be the easiest one to dive into. That's all up to you. Yeah, whoever gave you that message, I think it was kind of scattered. So that's up to you. Yeah, what is it that your hearts desire? Then go for it. That's the, it's an open road. If you want to learn everything, go learn everything. That's okay. If you want to be a part of everything, sure. There's a but now, now's the time to do it. How long will I be and where I am now? I don't know how to answer that part of the question. So yeah, it's just what you want to develop psychically. Mondo 11, I was an astronaut. I got off a ship that landed on Earth. I think. Uh, I was a tall white being, solid white, and I held my hands to take the hands of a human. Came to me, what was that? So, yeah, that's when aliens and humans are more connected, of course. And I think it was like a lover that you're connected to. Of course, you're in love with all the... Back then, everybody's in love with each other, so... I think you went on a trip, you went back to your home world, and you came back. And you're saying hi to a loved one. That's neat. That's what I get. Um, but I think that was actually happened, though. <laughs> I think it was a memory. Uh, question to any messages from my galactic family? Um, I have to look this up. Astana comes up. Astana of Kazakhstan is where a lot of your work is right now. A lot of a leader there, a lot of... It is a real place. Look it up. I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's just a place there you're most needed for interpretations and changes are coming to the earth. So, I don't think we're going to build new structures, like new statues or something to bring in new vibrations there. I don't think they've done it yet. It's a possibility. I'm not getting 100%, but just see what you feel about that place. Chris, I'm suddenly interested in transhuman realities such as computers and robotic uh, energies. Is there a reason for this? Yeah, because more of that's going to be coming into this reality. So we can do those astral energies of what the future is whole. So you're bringing a lot of that to those ideas here. So yeah, whatever you want to look at, feel free. It's it's healing for you and healing for others. What I have a, what I've been doing astral, well, that's pretty much what we're doing astral. Uh, you're connecting to many realities where there are androids and robots walking around society. I believe also you're very connected to Japan. Uh, because that's where a lot of our technologies are being built. So right. Leave you with that. Okay. All right. Which one, everyone? Thank you for your questions. And we'll be back, uh, we'll be back every day. Uh, we'll be back uh, uh, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. I might be doing more live streams or see how things go. <laughs> All right. Much love.